simplistic way, we maximize the, the commitment of the three groups to decide the success of your company, which is your manager culture, your employee culture, and your customer culture. We're not talking about a bunch of managers, employees, and customers. We're talking about when those groups form relationships with your company and become cultures and gain massive amounts of power and, uh, and also are remarkably resistant to standard methods of corporate influence. So that's what we know. We know how these cultures really work and how to get them to really work for you. But I, I got to say, man, I, I just got to say that, again, the reason that we do this Mm -hmm. And we work in 44 countries. We've had billions of dollars of measurable impact for our clients. But the reason that we do this is uh, when we can reposition these three cultures back to a company as, a newly, as newly precious workable assets, we cause a company to protect them. Same as a company will protect any asset, especially if they can squeeze it in some new way. Mm -hmm. And you can't protect these three assets without protecting the humanity that they represent 